The formula for the volume of a cone looks like this. V for volume is equal to pi r squared h over 3, where the r is the radius of the cone and the h is the height of the cone. In this first example, we have a radius of 3 centimeters, a height of 8 centimeters, and we're looking for the volume. I'm just going to plug into the equation. For pi, we're using 3.14 in these examples. The radius 3 is squared. The height is 8 over 3. Of course, you can use the steps of algebra that you prefer in order to simplify this. I'm going to cancel one of the 3's in the numerator with the one on the bottom and we end up with 3.14 times 24. The 24 is the result of this 3 multiplied by the 8. And 3.14 times 24 is equal to 75.36. Because the distances were given in centimeters, volume is going to be centimeters cubed. In this next example, our radius is 10 millimeters, our height is the unknown, and the volume is 3140 millimeters cubed. Filling in the formula, the 3140 goes in the position of the V. 3.14 is our approximation of pi, it goes in the position of the pi symbol. The R is the 10. And now we only have one unknown, which is the h. 10 squared is 100, and 3.14 times 100 is going to be 314. In order to avoid doing this division, which would give me a long decimal, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3, so that these 3's cancel. We end up with 9420 equals 314h, and now when I divide both sides by 314, these cancel, my h is isolated, 9420 divided by 314 is equal to 30, and because we were working with millimeters and millimeters cubed, the height will have as its unit millimeters. In the next example, we are looking for the radius, the height is 9 meters, the volume is 235.5 meters cubed, and again we are going to use pi equal to 3.14. Filling in the formula, the V is replaced by 235.5, pi is replaced by 3.14, the r squared stays because it is our unknown. The h is replaced by 9. And we still have this 3 down here. The first thing I'm going to do is simplify 9 divided by 3, which is equal to 3. And then 3.14 times 3 is equal to 9.42. And we still have our r squared. It's time to divide both sides by 9.42. These cancel. R squared is isolated and is equal to 25. We have found R squared, but we are asked for R, the radius. So we still have a step to do. We have to find the square root of 25. R is going to be equal to the square root of 25, which is 5. And since our original units were meters and meters cubed, the radius is a distance, it will be measured in meters. This is an example of how you find the radius with the volume formula for a cone.